Velocity is defined as the displacement of an object divided by the amount of time it takes that object to travel, which is the same thing as the change in position over time. There are some common units we could use to describe velocity or speed, such as miles per hour or kilometers per hour, but the unit we use in physics, the SI unit of velocity, is meters per second, abbreviated as m over s. For reference, 1 meter per second is roughly 2.2 miles per hour, or 3.6 kilometers per hour. So we represent velocity using the variable v, and we represent time using the variable t. So here's our equation for the average velocity of an object. We could say the average velocity equals the displacement over time, or we could write out each of the variables separately. Let's take a closer look at this equation. So v with the subscript avg stands for average velocity, xf is the final position, xi is the initial position, tf is the final time, and ti is the initial time. And here are the SI units for the variables in this equation. Time is in seconds, position is in meters, and velocity is in meters per second. And one more thing I want to note here is that this equation that we just learned is the same thing as this equation. The variables have just been rearranged. Alright, so let's do an example problem to try out this equation. A car is driving along a straight highway. It travels 800 meters in 35 seconds. What is the car's average velocity? For this problem, we know that the change in the car's position, or the displacement of the car, is 800 meters. We also know that the change in time is 35 seconds. Next, we'll list out the equations that we might be able to use. Since this problem wants us to find average velocity, we'll use the equation that we just learned. Since we know the displacement and the change in time, we can just use the first part of our equation. Average velocity equals displacement divided by change in time. We would plug in 800 meters for the displacement and 35 seconds for the change in time. Using our calculator, we'll do 800 divided by 35, and we'll find that the average velocity equals 22.86 meters per second. So you might have asked, why didn't we use the other part of our equation with the initial and final variables? Well, we can try that too. The question is, where do we plug in our 800 meters in 35 seconds? Well, since the problem doesn't say what the initial position of the car is, or what the initial time is, then we're always going to assume that the initial values are zero if they're not given. In this case, our picture might look a little bit different. Now we can see that the car has values for its initial position and for its final position. At the initial position, we assume that time equals zero seconds and the position is zero meters. At the final position, time is 35 seconds and the position is 800 meters. Now we can plug in 800 meters for the final position, 0 meters for the initial position, 35 seconds for the final time, and 0 seconds for the initial time. 800 minus 0 is 800, and 35 minus 0 is 35. Now what we're left with is the same equation as last time, and we find that the average velocity of the car is 22.86 meters per second. So we could have done this either way. The thing to remember is that if we're not given an initial value, we have to assume the initial value is zero. But what if we are given both the initial and the final values? A car is driving along a straight highway while someone records the car's position at different points in time. That's where we get our table from. What is the car's average velocity from when time equals two seconds to time equals three seconds? First, here's a picture of this scenario. Next, we're going to write down what we know. In this case, we're given the table of the car's position at different times. Next, we're going to write down the equations that we could use to solve the problem. But this time, we're specifically given an initial point and a final point, so we'll have to use the second part of our equation. Our initial point is when time equals 2 seconds and the car's position is 10 meters, and the final point is when time is 3 seconds and the position is 15 meters. Now in our equation, we can plug in 15 meters for the final position, 10 meters for the initial position, 3 seconds for the final time, 
and 2 seconds for the initial time. 15 minus 10 gives us 5 meters, and 3 minus 2 gives us 1 second. 5 divided by 1 gives us 5, so the average velocity of the car between these two points is 5 meters per second.